Hey babes. I know, I know it's been forever, but I'm so happy to be back and filming something really, really exciting and really close to my heart as well. But before we get straight into this really juicy, really yummy video, let's just get the formalities out of the way. I'm gonna ask you to quickly check if you are subscribed. If you are not, please click the subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Right, babe, so like I mentioned, I've been really into fragrances of late. My collection has just been growing and I've been getting to experience a bit more fragrances than I've had prior. So I absolutely love that right now and it's kind of my thing now. For today's video, I have tried to not include some of the fragrances that I had in my previous video. I still absolutely love all those fragrances and some of them are part of my summer collection. But I decided to just include fragrances that I haven't spoken about yet on my channel. So when it comes to fragrances and when it comes to starting a collection, if someone were to ask me how do I get started on my collection, there are a few categories that I think you would need to have. I would look for one, an everyday scent which is kind of like inoffensive, something that I can wear, wear to work, something that's really, really light, but it's just something that is appropriate for everyday wear. I would then look for something that is um, for more an occasion, like if I'm dressing up and I'm going out, um, doesn't need to be nighttime, but anything that is for a special occasion, I would also get a fragrance for that. Then I would get a fragrance that is for nighttime. Then I would also get something that's very fresh for kind of the days if I want to go to the beach or if I want to go to gym or anything like that that's really fresh. Those four fragrances in those four categories are perfectly fine for you to have. Because I'm trying to build my fragrance collection and because I've honestly really been fortunate to be able to do so, I'm trying to get those four categories of fragrances for every season. So for summer, for spring, for winter, for autumn, I try to get those four fragrances. The first fragrance that I'm talking about that is part of my summer collection is Edic and Voltaire, This Is Her. I'm gonna try not to smell the fragrances as I go along because I'm really just gonna melt all over. This is her. When I tell you this is the most stunning fragrance, um, it is an everyday scent. It is something that's really, really fresh. Um, I wear this to work all the time. I got the 30 more first, but I'm running out and I need to go get a refill. This is an amazing, amazing fragrance. Like I said, it's very fresh. It's really inoffensive. It's appropriate for everyday wear to the office. And every single time I've worn this to the office, I've gotten a heap of compliments. The notes in here are pink pepper, silkwood blossom, jasmine. And then the middle notes or the hard notes are whipped cream, vanilla, chestnut. And then the base notes are sandalwood and cashmere wood. So you can imagine it is something that's very, very fresh. A little sweet but also extremely woody um, because the woodiness obviously comes through in the base notes and that is what lasts longer that whipped cream when you get the first whiff of it you can kind of get like the whipped creaminess coming through and also like the spiciness of the pepper of the pink pepper also comes through um, it's really amazing I think this is more on the affordable side it is a designer perfume so I think it's more on the affordable ish side the projection um, is good whenever I walk past some someone I know that the scent cloud that it creates is really good because whenever I'm walking past someone they'll be like what are you wearing you smell really really good I don't think the projection is like outstanding but I think it's decent for the price point so definitely get your hand on this all right next on the list we have the Jimmy Choo I want you again I got the 30 mil this was the first time that I purchased it but yeah the Jimmy Choo I want you they actually currently have a new one um, that they've just released and I think it's a more spicy I haven't checked it out I think it's more spicier than the uh, original and that's called I want you forever um, this is also a fragrance that I love wearing to the office it smells amazing it is really it packs a punch it really really packs a punch it's not a very complicated fragrance the notes are really simple they only have they have two notes in the top um, heart and then there's one note in the base so the top notes is peach and mandarin orange the middle notes of the heart notes is jasmine as well as red lily so this is a white floral fragrance and then you have at the base notes vanilla um, which honestly when the base notes for me if base notes have vanilla and musk 
I know there's a great chance that I'm gonna like it and the fact that it's white floral and it is also fruity because it has a fruit in the top notes I knew for sure based off the notes that this was gonna be a winner for me um, as much as the notes are really simple and really straightforward I don't think the fragrance is straightforward I don't think it's something that you can get somewhere else like just um, you know pick it up somewhere else i remember the first time that i smelled this fragrance i was like mm, this smells so familiar this smells so familiar i couldn't place it but i think it smelled really similar i don't know i don't know there's something that it reminded me of when i first smelled it and i was like hmm, i feel like i have a zara perfume that's a dupe for this um but i don't think so after a while of testing it it took me a really long while to buy this after a while of testing it i was like mm, actually it's not it's very unique especially in the dry down it's really really unique i love this i love this i think um it's kind of in terms of pricing it's similar to the this is her perfume that i just shared right now whenever i wear it to work compliments galore um this is something that i love love wearing to work but for the nighttime it's great as well for the nighttime for the daytime i like this fragrance because it's really versatile you can wear it for the nighttime for date night you can also wear it during the day it's definitely something that i'm going to be repurchasing and it is a staple for me this summer next on the list is something that's just as beastly as the jimmy Choo, if not more and that is jean paul gautier <laughs> lavelle and oh guys when i tell you that this is one of the best fragrances out there please believe me bell has been around for a while it launched in 2019 a designer fragrance of course i know since it launched it had a lot of hype around it when i started getting into fragrances that had a lot of hype and usually there are fragrances that i just want to stay away from because everyone and their mother has it um and that's why i didn't want to pick it up at all i didn't even want to engage with the fragrance quite a few people own this fragrance for a very good reason um but i finally gave into it and i got it and i was like i knew i should have known it's going to be right up my alley and honestly i don't mind everyone smelling like this over here because oh child in the base notes they have vanilla and musk and like i say if there's vanilla and musk in the base notes i know it's going to be something that i usually gravitate towards so it's vanilla musk and some amber in the base notes and when i tell you it is a it's a beast of a fragrance vanilla fragrances in general are a very easy crowd pleaser if you're wearing a vanilla fragrance it's very easy to get compliments it's really easy to really like the fragrance where there's vanilla definitely one of the best vanilla fragrances i've come across ever it really ticks all the boxes it's really long lasting it's really pleasant the girls will eat you up wearing this i remember i was out at a wine farm with a couple of girls and when i tell you everyone was like send us tell us what you're wearing please tell me what you're wearing and i ended up sending in our group chat my fragrance a picture of the fragrance because it's just the crowd pleaser the guys really like it everyone just loves this it's it's really guys man it's nice man come on man <laughs> So the top notes are pear and bergamot. Then in the hot notes, we have floral notes. So of course, this is a fruity floral fragrance. Um, we have the floral notes and the leather. I think it's the leather that really makes it so yummy and so sultry and so sexy. I absolutely love this Lebel fragrance. This is going to be forever in my collection. Love her. Love her. Then the next one um, that I have in my collection is the Erin um hibiscus palm so i completely oh. my goodness i was looking at this hibiscus uh fragrance i forgot the name i'll just pop it on screen and i was looking at it because it is on my wish list it's still on my wish list i still want to get it for christmas but i was having a look at it every now and then trying to you know devil see see how it's going see how it's doing because it's quite expensive um and i just need to i need a bit of extra time to kind of convince myself of the purchase but every single time i would google it this fragrance would pop up and that is hibiscus palm then i decided let me just click on this because it, the price is in rand so it is in south africa but i've never seen it in store anywhere i research and i find that actually erin is erin lauder which is the granddaughter 
um, of Estee Lauder and she basically has a beauty empire she works for Estee Lauder as well she's a director of I think it's director of fashion or something um, at Estee Lauder and she has her own brand which is Erin and under that brand she's actually making these fragrances the entire premise of the brand is basically creating fragrances that are inspired by her style inspired by her travels by her life so whatever she encounters or anything that's specific to her she creates these fragrances to actually speak to that this is a floral fragrance a white floral fragrance so that's to no surprise it's very tropical it's musky it's a vanilla fragrance as well and of course what we have in the top notes is hibiscus hilangalang um there's palm leaf lotus and ginger and then in the hot notes in the middle notes we have white florals or white flowers frank frangipani in the base notes or the bottom notes we have coconut milk vanilla and musk so i definitely get that creaminess from the coconut milk oh, it creates oh, it's i don't want to say it's a cozy it's definitely not cozy it's definitely somewhere appropriate but it's very comfortable when i was explaining this i shared it on my close friends when i first got it i was like imagine a single rich aunt on holiday that's essentially the vibe that i'm getting you know when you walk into a restaurant or you walk into a certain store or you walk into a certain area um, and then you would get these rich ladies that are housewives for a living this is the fragrance she's wearing the lady that gets stopped that gets asked oh excuse me what do you do for a living and she says i'm married for a living she's wearing this she's wearing this have have no doubts the fragrance is not available in store but you can get it on estee lauder so this was a blind buy for me a very expensive blind buy but i really had trust and hope <laughs> in the notes over there and i was like mm, i know i'm gonna like her let me get her um so yeah it is something that you unfortunately have to blind buy i don't know if estee lauder's website actually allows for samples that would have been great if they actually allow for some samples um to be sent out to you as you take your order but um for me it was a blind buy i do not regret it would i get it again when it eventually runs out yes i'd most likely get another Aaron fragrance before getting this one again but this is definitely oh guys I've smelled like this a couple of times and I've gotten compliments. I think all the fragrances in here has gotten me compliments. But yeah, this, beautiful. Now moving on to a fragrance that I think is strictly a nighttime fragrance um, in my summer collection. It is the Lancome La Nuit Tresor. Mm, you know me with these pronunciations, trying to pronounce things in a funny way. And I'm almost sure that it's 100% incorrect. But this fragrance over here again it was a blind buy and the reason why i blind bought it was because it was a, a an extremely gourmand fragrance it wasn't just command it was really really gourmand um and i thought it was really interesting for the amount of notes that are in this fragrance i think it's really complicated it's not just simple and straightforward um and the way the notes were structured i was like if someone told me that this was a niche perfume i would actually absolutely believe it not a lie this was not a blind buy before i purchased it because i got it on sale before i purchased it i walked into woolies and i was trying a couple of fragrances and then i spritzed on this particular fragrance and then as i was walking through the store i was literally going on a journey of all the notes the top notes the base notes the middle notes as time was going along while i was walking in the store and when i was at home and when i was at home that's when i was like hmm Something about this girl is really, really good. Um, and I absolutely loved it. And then the minute I saw it on sale, I was like, let me grab it. Um, I wouldn't say that this would be something that is safe uh, to blind buy because the scent is really unique. It's really unique, so it can easily throw you off. I never recommend that you blind buy anything, but for this in particular, do not blind buy. Let's take a look at the notes. Oh, it's a lot, especially in the base notes. So in the top, we have pear, bergamot, and tangerine. Again, pear and bergamot, love those in top notes when they open up. And in the middle notes, we have strawberry, vanilla orchid, black rose, passion fruit, which I've never had a fragrance that actually has passion fruit in the middle notes. And then the base notes, what we have is praline. Mm. 
like i said very gourmand we have praline caramel lychee vanilla pacholi incense coffee licorice um comarin. as much as this is a sweet and fruity kind of gourmand it's also very spicy a warm spicy and it is also very woody as well so that's why i say that this is more of the nighttime fragrance as much as i say that this is something oh i just popped this off no go back as much as i've included this fragrance as part of my summer collection this is definitely something that i could get away with all year round i do think that it's appropriate to wear all year round um it smells really great amazing projection like i said it's not for ev everyone i think it would be great for date night i remember i wore this while i was during the day while i was getting my um my eyes tested of course the optometrist gets really up close my defense the reason why i wore this is because it was still new and i still wanted to get like whiffs of it to kind of see and tell experience the, the fragrance it felt to me like the closer the optometrist was getting to me the more he was like Oof. he even sneezed at some point you do not need a lot of this like i say i like dripping and i like drowning in my fragrances this is not what i would do with this because it can be a bit overpowering i think that this is probably one of the most unique fragrances in my collection i absolutely absolutely love it if you get a chance please go test it i love it i love her nighttime to the club do I, I don't even go to the club but date night too good the next fragrance is literally my signature scent um for the longest time i have not mentioned this fragrance i have not spoken about the fragrance i'm someone that's very open when it comes to sharing fragrances because i get so excited i don't mind if someone has the same fragrance as me but with this one it is a common fragrance it is a designer fragrance so anyone can bump into it but with this i really didn't want people to know but because i love you i'm gonna show you it is giorgio armani my way my goodness it smells so beautiful it smells so graceful so elegant so welcoming you are wearing a long flowy dress you have so much elegance and grace you command the room when you walk into the room you don't command it in like a confident powerful way you just command it in a, a lovely beautiful way you are the most gorgeous girl in the room the most beautiful girl in the room as it is no surprise the Giorgio armani my way is a white floral fragrance i love white flor florals kind of creamy powdery not powdery like a creaminess to it it's got like this creaminess to it oh in the top notes we have orange blossom and bergamot the middle notes are indian jasmine tuberose in the base notes we have madagascar vanilla we have musk and virginian cedar it does last quite a bit of time on me but i like refreshing when i'm wearing this i don't know probably because i'm really attracted to the scent so i don't mind spritzing it but as much as i spritz on myself whenever i go anywhere um it's not too overpowering and it's not something that will make someone you know squirm and be like oh, your fragrance is killing me it's not something like that it's really pleasant if i'm going out this is the fragrance that i'd be wearing i wouldn't wear this to the office it's done every day um not only for the price point but i just feel like i just feel like my most beautiful self i don't want to have her at, at work no going to events daytime events this is what i wear if i am going again to a lunch during summer this is what i'll wear if i'm going to the beach or a boat cruise or a sunset cruise this is what i'd wear you can wear it in the daytime and i also think it's appropriate for nighttime i would say the projection is average the fragrance is really like it does pack a punch it does make its presence known but i don't think it projects as much or it doesn't play it as much of a scent cloud but it is a banger and it's something that will always be in my collection i love it i love it so much and then now it brings me to my final last minute addition to my summer fragrance collection so all the perfumes that i mentioned now are my own purchases but this final one which happens to be the most expensive was a pr drop so your girl is finally in her fragrance pr list era ah! I was looking for another citrus fragrance but i wasn't really finding it i wasn't like really looking for one but 
I wanted to see if I was stumbling across any citrus fragrances that I might like that I might want to add because I think citrus fragrances for summer are cute you know um, but I didn't find anything that I absolutely liked and then this fragrance came along and that is still in its packaging because I haven't like used it and that is the Aqua de Palma Magnolia Infinita that is the girl so they gave us a sample as well they gave us the full size 100 ml they gave us a sample so i've been using the sample the sample is done so anyway like i said it is citrus fragrance so all aqua de palma fragrances the story the backstory behind aqua de palma and how it started it's actually really cool um but all the aqua de palma fragrances in the top notes that they are citrus the top notes are calabria and bergamot lemon and orange the middle notes uh, magnolia jasmine ylang ylang rose and then the base notes we have musk and patchouli like i said it's a citrus fragrance it is a white floral no surprise there that i absolutely love it it is sweet it is woody it is musky i really like it i absolutely love once it starts drying down once the citrus fades the citrus is pleasant like when it opens it is pleasant a pleasant citrus that comes through but once it fades and once it gets to the dry down perfection it definitely is long lasting like all aqua de palma fragrances they are very long lasting i think that is such a perfect addition to my summer collection and that kind of rounds up all the fragrances that i'll be wearing this summer if you were to ask me what fragrance you should run to get today La Belle trust me on this my girl trust me on it anyway babe thank you so much for joining me on this video I will see you in the next one love and light to you and yours oh I've missed saying that love and light to get my dear